Hello friends, myself Neul Kodia from LG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we start an interesting chapter that is dynamic force analysis and mechanism. So in today's session we have to discuss more two topics. First one that is equivalent offset inertia force and second one is a free body diagram. Now you all know what is inertia force. Whenever you apply force in any of the body at that time one imaginary force apply in opposite direction that force indicate the inertia force and second one is a free body diagram now what is free body diagram like suppose if you apply force in any of the body at that time some reaction force also applied in this body some frictional force also applied clear gravitational force also applied so what is free body diagram you have to represent all the force applied on the body this diagram is known as a free body diagram clear so we have to discuss what is inertia force and what is free body diagram clear so first one that is a equivalent offset inertia force in rectilinear motion involving acceleration the inertia force acting on the body passes through its center of mass now you all know if you applied force in any of the body and line of action of force passes through the cg at that time you have uh, the one equation of the force uh, according to second law of Newton that is force is equal to ma clear rate of change of angular momentum and uh, second thing if you applied force in any of the body at some distance of cg at that time one couple is generated on this body clear so you all know what is the equation of the couple clear that is the force into perpendicular distance clear so if we have to discuss these two things in equivalent offset inertia force if the resultant of the force acting on the body does not pass through the center of mass then couple also act on the body clear already we discussed this thing in graphical solution it is possible to replace inertia force and inertia couple by equivalent offset inertia force clear which can account for both this is done by displacing the line of action of the inertia force from the center of mass clear okay now you see there is two diagram in first diagram that is one force applied on the body and line of action of force passes through the center of the gravity clear so equation of the force that is inertia force that is f is equal to m into fg where m indicate mass of the body and fg indicate acceleration of the body clear and one anti one couple also generated in anti clockwise direction now you all know what is the equation of the uh, to uh, torque clear so equation of the tor torque is equal to i alpha clear now i indicate the mass moment of inertia of the body and alpha indicate angular acceleration clear we have two types of acceleration linear acceleration and angular acceleration clear whenever we discuss about force at that time force is equal to m into a clear but once we discuss about the torque at that time instead of mass we have to consider mass moment of inertia and instead of linear acceleration we have to discuss we have to consider angular acceleration clear okay now in second figure that is a, a line of action of force does not pass through the center of the gravity of the body mm -hmm. and there is a, some distance between line of action of force and cg that is small h so whenever you applied force at some distance at that time couple generated clear and you all know what is the equation of couple that is i alpha clear and uh, in uh, opposite direction one imaginary couple also applied for the balancing purpose that is a uh, inertia torque clear okay now based on the figure you can write tor tor torque is equal to couple clear so what is the equation of torque that is a force into perpendicular distance that is imaginary force into perpendicular distance that is fi into h is equal to couple now you all know what is the equation of couple what is the equation of torque that is i alpha i in ig into alpha ig indicate mass moment of inertia alpha indicate angular acceleration now based on the above equation you can write small h is equal to ig into alpha upon f 
clear now you all know what is the equation of the mass moment of inertia of the body that is i is equal to mk square we already discussed this thing in flywheel and gyroscope clear m indicate mass of the body and k indicate radius of gyration clear okay now you have to put a value of i is equal to mk square over here and equation converted in the form of mk square alpha upon now you can put f is equal to ma so instead of f you have to put m into a or m into f clear so from a denominator and numerator mass will cancel out and equation converted in the form of k square alpha upon f a so this is the equation for the distance small h clear so this is the concept of the offset inertia force now what is free body diagram so you see in this figure there is one body is there in a positive direction we applied one force that is capital f so whenever you applied force in any of the direction at that time frictional force applied in the opposite direction and you already learned what is the equation of the frictional force that is f is equal to mu into n now what is mu mu it is the coefficient of fluctuation coefficient of friction clear and what is n n indicate normal reaction of the body clear and you all know normal reaction of the body applied in upward direction and you all know as a gravitational force applied always in downward direction and you all know what is the equation of gravitational force that is mg clear m indicate mass and g indicate gravitational acceleration clear so in free body diagram there is a total four force clear f force applied in positive direction frictional <laughs> force applied in negative direction normal reaction applied in upward direction and gravitational force applied in downward direction clear so this is the simple concept of the free body diagram clear now we have one more free body diagram that is free body diagram of four bar mechanism clear so in this figure or in this mechanism total four link clear there is one link is a fix and other three link is in a motion clear so uh, this is the four bar mechanism you already learned this thing in kinematic of machine clear how four bar mechanism is work clear so this is the four bar mechanism now we have to find out uh, force uh, of each member in four bar mechanism so in figure a there is indicate fixed link that is number one link is a fixed link there is two link is fixed clear in a so, uh, second link uh, we applied one torque clear in third link applied uh, second link applied force in third link and uh, because of uh, force in third link fourth link also come in the motion clear so we have to draw free body diagram of each link clear so figure b indicate free body diagram of link 2 so you see in this figure b there is a link 1 applied force on link 2 indicate f12 now you have to remember one thing f12 that means link 1 applied force in link 2 and f21 indicate link 2 applied force in link 1 clear so you have to remember this thing so the, here is a two forces f12 that means fixed link applied force in uh, on link 2 and f32 also applied that indicate link 3 applied force on link 2 clear and torque applied in clockwise direction and distance between capital a and b that is small h clear so this is the free body diagram of link 2 now free body diagram of link 3 that link 3 that is bc clear so link 2 applied force on link 3 and also link 4 applied force in link 3 so f23 in and f43 applied equal in opposite direction clear so effect of the force is neglect so this is the free body diagram of link number 3 f23 indicate link 2 applied force on link 3 and f43 indicate link force applied force on the link 3 clear and last free body diagram of the link 4 so you see in the figure a there is one external force we applied on link number 4 that is capital f and capital f incline uh, applied in inclined direction clear so there is one force applied external force that is capital f one more force applied uh, on uh, d that is uh, f 
F14 that means fixed link applied force on link 4 that is F14 and F34 that means link 3 applied force on link 4 so total 3 force applied on link 3 link number 4 that is external force F14 and F34 and based on this diagram you can draw one force polygon clear and you all know how to add force member in, in a force triangle clear so one uh, external force applied if you extend a line of action of external force in reverse direction at that time uh, the intersection point at point O that is a F34 and F14 are intersect clear so all the force are intersect at point O so based on this diagram you can find a uh, value of force in each member clear so this is the simple free body diagram of four bar mechanism now free body diagram for the slider and crank mechanism as you all know total four component is there first is a fixed link second is a crank third one is a connecting rod and fourth one is a piston clear and you all know how slider crank mechanism is work you see in this animation this is a slider crank mechanism so we have also we have to uh, derive or also we have to draw free body diagram of the each member clear so free body diagram of the slider crank mechanism that is first one clear first link is a fix clear second link is a crank so in crank uh, fixed link also applied force on the crank and connecting rod also applied force on the crank clear so there is a two force applied on the crank so F1 to indicate fixed link applied force on the crank and F3 to indicate connecting rod applied force on the crank. Clear? So two force applied on the crank. Now third figure or a free body diagram of the connecting rod. So connecting rod is uh, connected between crank and piston. So crank force applied on the connecting rod and piston also applied force on the connecting <laughs> rod clear so f23 indicate crank applied force on the connecting rod and f43 indicate uh, uh, piston applied uh, force on the connecting rod in opposite direction clear so this is the free body diagram of the connecting rod now uh, third figure that is a piston now you all know the piston have a sliding moment so because of that one normal reaction is generated clear uh, piston move from a uh, top end side to bottom end side or left hand side or right hand side it depends on the engine is a vertical position or a horizontal position so there is a capital F applied force in positive direction F force indicate a crank applied force on the piston clear and in reverse direction piston also applied force on the crank in inclined position that is F34 normal reaction applied is in upward direction that means fixed link applied force on the piston that is F14 because 4 number indicate piston first number indicate fixed support clear and positive direction applied force that is capital F in inclined direction F34 indicate piston applied force on the uh, connecting rod clear so this is the simple free body diagram of the slider crank mechanism clear so in this session we discuss some basic fundamental of offset inertia force and some basic fundamental of free body diagram clear in the free body diagram we discuss four bar mechanism and a slider crank mechanism clear for the understanding you have to understand what is velocity diagram and what is acceleration diagram clear this thing also you learn in your uh, subject that is kinematic of machine clear you also remember one thing there is a in slider crank mechanism we have to find value of force based on clench construction clear so in a four bar mechanism uh, whenever we uh, uh, find out value of force at that time we have to draw all the diagram using scale clear we have to uh, draw the diagram with original scale clear then and then you can find the value of force in each member clear okay and uh, what is offset inertia force clear offset inertia force is used for the balancing purpose whenever you apply force in positive direction at that time some imaginary force applied in opposite direction clear for the balance purpose uh, that's why inertia offset inertia force value of offset inertia force is same as a applied force clear if a line of action of force pass from the cg at that time only force resultant force applied so we have to apply only offset inertia force but whenever you apply force at some distance from CG at that time couple is generated so for the balancing purpose you have to apply inertia torque clear in opposite direction 
and you have to remember two equation equation of the force that is F is equal to ma and equation of the torque that is torque is equal to I alpha and uh, you have to remember unit of I clear I is equal to mk square so kg into meter square and you all know what uh, what is uh, k indicate that is radius of gyration and what is m indicate mass of the body clear so in this session we discuss two topic of inertia force and free body diagram so we will discuss next topic in our next lecture thank you